Hey guys, good morning. So I've been pondering whether or not to do a little photography blog. And as much enjoyment as I get out of Mr. Simon Baxter and Mr. Tom Heaton and Adam Gibbs and uh, Gavin Hardcastle's channels, uh, I thought there might be room for one more landscape guy. So, uh, welcome to my inaugural video on photography. So, we're out hiking the dogs yesterday. I'm actually out hiking today as well, but luckily my uh, super duper partner Kim has uh, has the dogs that way, about 20 or 30 yards. But uh, yeah, they're not cute like Meg or fluffy like Monty, and you'll know who those guys are if you uh, follow any photography channels. But uh, yeah, we were up here yesterday and uh, wind was blowing pretty hard but just heard this torrent of water and uh, it's spring here in the Rockies so you know, we're used to the snow melt but uh, wandered over and there was this huge waterfall so, uh, very seasonal but the snow melt was so uh, so fast yesterday that uh, very much got our attention so, I actually to grab my gear today and figured I would come over and see if uh, I could get a shot. So, and I apologise, I'm just on my phone. Aha, I hear the water. Oh, nice. Very nice. So, I'm actually up on a... Uh, oh, crap. And fall through snow and everything here. Bushwhacking. <laughs> okay. I just realised I was walking on a cornice that was uh, didn't actually have anything underneath it. <laughs> so this snow here, yeah, there's nothing under there. It's just the rocks that go straight down. And. Uh, it's a fairly, fairly good drop, certainly enough to ruin my day. I've broken enough bones, but uh, yeah, I'll give you a, a better view around here in a second, or try to, and see what we can get, if anything. It's pretty overcast today, you can see behind me, but uh, looking towards the water, It's uh, actually blue skies behind there. Ooh, some beautiful patterns here as well. Okay, all right. So, there's the falls behind me. Right there, sorry. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of set up. Um, nothing exceptional in the composition, um, really. I, I do like the general shapes. Um, of the way that uh, kind of comes down uh, it's very subtle um, but there is basically a bowl there obviously that's why the water's coming down uh, but the falls themselves are actually really nice and like I say this is just a seasonal um, a seasonal fall just during the snow melt but uh, very close to the house so that's, that's really nice so um, I'm on manual, I'm just shooting straight from my um, Instagram. Uh, let's see if I can... Uh, sorry about that. Yeah, so I'm at 15th of a second, I'm just trying to uh, keep a little motion in that water. I'll show you a couple of test shots I took. Uh, keep some motion in that water, but also to give it a little bit of... Um, silkiness and then I'm basically just shooting from uh, from my histogram so uh, just making sure I'm not clipping my highlights or my shadows so I can pull everything out uh, I do have a little bit of the tree on that side that I can't do so I'll probably get rid of that it's too distracting if I had something on this side balancing um, it might uh, not be so bad 
but um, I'm at 70 millimeters. You can see f22, and that's only because I'm being lazy and not wanting to uh, put on a filter. Uh, but 1 15th, 1 20th uh, was giving me uh, just about the right silkiness uh, that I was looking for. And I'm just at base ISO, which is 64 on the D810. Uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's all I'm doing right now. Nothing too exciting, but uh, no confession to make. It's been, uh, I've been shooting a little bit but I haven't really um, been out to uh, do a dedicated shoot. It's late in the day, it's like 9.30, 10 o'clock now. But uh, it's so overcast where the sun's at, which is up there, as you can see from the shadows. Um, and it's directly behind me, so uh, not too, too much sun. I kind of got away with that. I do have my filters with me, and I may, uh, may stick on my uh, 7200 Tamron. Uh, and just try and, try and do maybe a square crop on that. I do like the colours in the rocks over there, but uh, I just don't have enough reach with the uh, 2470 at the moment. Uh, and it looks like those clouds are breaking up, so I'm going to have to probably stick a filter on. So let's, uh, let's do that and see what happens. I'm not going to show you my uh, changing lenses and all that crap. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, um, there's lots of much better videos out there showing you how to do that. I'll be back. So, I got my trusty Tamron on. Um, this is the old uh, A009 model, I believe. Um, is that, I think that model before they uh, did the G2, which I will actually probably upgrade to just for the uh, weatherproofing and stuff. I have a lens coat on this, which is why it's camo. Um, I don't no, that makes any great difference if it's shooting wildlife, if it's camouflage or not. But um, it certainly gives weather protection. Um, this has been out in Moab in October in the pouring rain. Uh, we had a solid week of rain over there for a workshop I was doing with Out of Chicago. And um, I just got back from Scotland a month ago, which is why I'm still a little short of breath running around up there in Aspen. Uh, we're at 8,000 feet. And, uh, it takes a good, takes me a good three, four weeks to uh, get my uh, get my breathing back after uh, after being gone for almost three weeks. It's amazing how quickly you lose it. But uh, anyway, so we are okay. I'm zoomed in one to one, so I've checked my focus. Uh, I'm going to go with a square a square crop on this. I'll probably take that sky out. I do like the snow patches, and I may well keep those in, but uh, one eighth of a second, so that might be a little too slow, the, as fast as that water's flowing. But you can see, there, I got a nice uh, bell curve on that histogram, except for that one little piece over to the right, but still not touching. And I'm sure that's just the uh, sky over there, because it's quite bright over there. But uh, yeah, so uh, one eighth of a second, F25, and ISO 64, and I've got it on timer. Yeah, it looks pretty sharp to me. Actually, do like the water. sun just came out. It's going to be way more, uh, yeah, that's amazing. Uh, you probably saw the blinkies on the, the first one, but just a couple of tiny patches. But uh, the sun just came out from behind the clouds, which showed you why it was blinking so crazily. So uh, definitely time to, uh, oh, where am I in aperture priority? It should be on manual. Huh. Yeah, it's weird. There we go. Yeah, and you can see. Hello, darling. 
Oh, there's my little girl. Corona. And Peppy. Hi. Yes. Anyways, that might be it for today. If the dogs are back, that means we're ready to go. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to try and get into this a little more and uh, do it a little more frequently. Like I say, it's my first one. It's just off my phone. I apologize for that. Uh, I will grab my GoPro and... Hey, Rusty. There's my other boy. The number one boy. Rusty dog. Um, yeah, I will uh, dig out my GoPro and uh, start make, trying to make these a little nicer. But anyway, hope you guys have a great day. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I do really appreciate it. Um, and uh, yeah, bye.